Starting off your audiophile journey can be a daunting task. Not so anymore, you can buy one of these. Are they the same? Let's find out. Big thank you to today's sponsor, Policy Genius. Policy Genius is the easiest way for you to find life insurance. One of the most popular videos I've ever made is about the IEMA. T9. Well, there's also the Duke Audio ST01 Pro. Are they exactly the same product with a different brand? I was surprised. So now grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about the IEMA T9 versus the Duke Audio ST01 Pro. I made a video about the T9 from IEMA being the product of the year in April. And this was last year about this time. The video did really well. And the reason why it did very well is because this is a great product. It sounds great. It's got a ton of options. And most importantly, it's cheap. And then we look at this. You may think these are exactly the same products and they're not. The confusing thing is Duke Audio used to make and still makes the ST-01, which does look identical to this. There are some key differences. Those may not matter to you at all, but first, Let's hear about Policy Genius, our wonderful sponsor for today's video. Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Policy Genius. Listen, it's really important to have life insurance, especially if people like your kids or your wife depend on your income, which they probably do. Get the peace of mind by having life insurance. I do. If something crazy happens to you, you want to make sure that your family can pay the mortgage. The kids can go to college. The dog can get its hip replaced if it needs to or have food. Life insurance is not something fun to research and do. That's why Policy Genius makes it super easy. You go in, you put some stuff in there about you and they serve you up a whole bunch of policies from reputable companies like AIG and Prudential. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 a month for $1 million in coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. The cool thing is their licensed agents aren't incentivized to sell you a specific plan. So you get a whole bunch of options and you can choose the one that's right for you and your family. So go to policygenius.com slash cheap audio man and get the process started. Get life insurance, and get it over with. Policy Genius makes it super easy. Duke Audio was kind enough to send this out and I cannot find it on Amazon. However, I will link their website directly because ST01 Pro is available. There are some aesthetic differences. There's an orange ring around the one on the Duke Audio and then orange rings that go around the tube interface. Outside of that, they're pretty much identical. Let's take a look at the back though. This is the T9. You got a full-size optical, full-size coaxial, full-size USB, a Bluetooth antenna, a aux output, and then the speakers. If you're just glancing at this, you'd say, hey, these are exactly the same, except for this. It's a USB thumb drive type of a deal. How useful that is, I'm not sure. They also have this feature on some of their other amps. It's very difficult to select which track. Remember the iPod shuffles? I Yeah. It's a little thing about the size of your thumb. It had a track advance, a track backup, and volume. I remember not loving it because you didn't really have any control over your music. If you just want background music, sure. Plug a thumb drive in there. I think it's a little bit redundant though when you have a fully functioning DAC on this thing and you can be streaming from your computer or from a Ween Mini or from a Ween Pro or whatever you want to stream from or play CDs from. Having a USB thumb drive input, I guess is okay. It's not my use case scenario. If it's yours, please put it in the comments. However, I think they probably could have left this out. The other cool thing about the ST01 Pro is the ability to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the very fun VU meter. And that right here is on the bottom with this set screw. One of the reasons why I love the T9 is because of the VU meter. 
And Duke Audio has a bit of a history with VU meters because I use their speaker switcher. And quite frankly, I didn't buy it because it, it's a speaker switcher. I bought it because it has cool VU meters on it. So Duke Audio has been putting VU meters in a lot of things for a long time. Being able to increase or decrease the sensitivity on the VU meter basically makes it move around more. And that's what this is all about, isn't it? Dancing needles on lights. Duke Audio uses a 3221 Texas Instruments chip. The one thing I love about Texas Instruments chip is they have the ability to sound very natural. Aima, Duke Audio, Fozzy have all started to use TI chips and they're all great. The one thing limiting factor to the 3221 chipset is power. Now, on paper they say they're going to put out plenty of power. And in practice I found that they do put out enough power to wake up most speakers. The speakers I was using are the Wharftail Denton 80th edition. Not the most sensitive speakers on the planet. However, I was able to get them up to 85 dB very comfortably, really peaking into the 90s, which is loud enough for most applications. And the only reason you're buying this thing is because you're getting into the hobby or you're creating another system, maybe in a smaller room. Let's again go over why these are awesome products. Number one, you have a DAC. A DAC is a digital analog converter, which means you can take your TV, a CD player, a streamer, more importantly, your computer and play music right through this. You don't need a separate DAC because it's included in here. This is basically an integrated amplifier and it's cheap, $140 for this new one. There is a bit of a premium because there are some extra features if you see them as features. It also comes with a remote control. Granted, those remote controls are probably gonna last one drop on the floor. Sorry, I got interrupted because somebody screamed in the house. So this is a little bit of a bird walk. Bear with me. My wife bought a mannequin to sell some clothes on eBay or whatever it was. And it just got thrown in the garage. I was cleaning out the garage, found the mannequin, put it back together, and just, I don't know, just left it in the garage. Every time I went into the garage, I freaked myself out because I thought there was some stranger standing in my garage. It was a mannequin, though. So it dawned on me, I should put this thing in my 18-year-old's room and their bathroom and behind the shower curtain and let it go for maybe three or four days and then put it back in there. And guess what? It works like a champ. <laughs> It's the best $50 to $70 that one can spend if you're a parent of a teenager. Buy the mannequin, put masks on it, dress it up, just put it in your kid's room, out of sight so they have to walk in all the way into the room before they see it. The cool thing about this product is it has tubes. And with tubes, in theory, you can change the sonic characteristics by changing out which one of these you put in. I almost dropped it. <laughs> this looks to be un... <laughs> there is literally nothing printed on this tube. So I don't exactly know which tube it is. However, these can be easily changed out. The good news is, even though there's nothing telling me exactly what tube it is, it still sounds pretty good. We're going to get to how it sounds here in just a little bit. But with tubes, you have an option to change how this thing sounds. The other thing about this amplifier is you can, if you want to, change out the power supply. This one goes up to a 30 volt power supply. It comes with a 24 volt, 4.5 amp, I think, power supply brick, which is very common for amplifiers of this size and power. You can always increase it though. Is that gonna make a huge difference? I don't know, but Meanwhile does make a 24 volt power supply which I used on an amp camp kit and that's a good power supply. So you do have the option of getting a different power supply. So you got tubes, you got a power supply. So there is a bit of an upgrade path. This also has a line out, which means you can connect a subwoofer to this or you can connect powered speakers or anything that has an analog input and use this as a preamp of sorts. So in one unit, you have an integrated amplifier with a DAC and you have analog inputs. So you can take a turntable only if it has a integrated phono preamp or you can take a phono preamp and plug it into here too. I made a video about why I don't like integrated amplifiers, but when you're paying 
130 or $140 for one and you're just getting into the hobby, then yeah, get an integrated amp. The last major difference is the first generation T9, which this one is, they have subsequently released a new version of this. This one used to go to sleep or basically click off after a couple of seconds of no signal. And that bugged a lot of people. Doesn't really bother me all that much, but I also don't use this every day, all day. And I can see if I was doing that, that it would bother me. The upgraded version of the T9 supposedly has taken care of that issue. The Duke Audio ST01 Pro doesn't go to sleep. So let's talk about the sonic differences. There aren't any, really. I mean, did I hear differences? Slight, yes. I think the Duke Audio ST01 Pro was a little bit fuller on the bottom. Here's the problem though. There's no guarantee that the power supplies are exactly the same. There's no guarantee, well, I can guarantee you that the optical cables that I was using are not the same. And I don't wanna get into a cable dispute, but I was using a AudioQuest, the entry level AudioQuest optical cable on the Duke Audio, and just a cheap optical cable that came with this. There's also variability in the sources, even though I was using the same source, which is a Ween Pro on both devices. And then there's the tube differences. The tubes on the T9 are at least marked, but I don't know exactly which ones they are. So this is a long way to say, there's not really any difference. And any real differences that I heard could be attributed to a variety of variables. So why would you choose one over the other? Well, I like the looks of the Duke Audio better. I like that it doesn't go to sleep very quickly. I don't care about the USB input. I'm not gonna use it. I don't really care about the Bluetooth because I'm not gonna use that either. However, if you do use Bluetooth, they both have capable Bluetooth. It doesn't sound great. I think the better question to ask is what are the limitations of these devices? And the limitations come into instrument separation. At louder volumes, things start to meld together pretty badly on both of them. And this is the real drawback to really affordable integrated amplifiers. There's no guarantee that if you spend $500 on an integrated amplifier, it's gonna be better. It probably is gonna be better if you get something from Emotiva or from Marantz, more established companies, but they both sound better than they should at $130. Which one you choose is fundamentally up to you. I don't think the ST01 Pro is available on Amazon yet. If it was though, and I had $130 to spend or even $140 to spend, I'd buy the Duke. If nothing else, because it looks cooler with the orange things, functionally though, it doesn't have any more features that would move the needle for me. Outside of it doesn't go to sleep as quickly as the T9. Again though, the newest upgrade of the T9 doesn't go to sleep. Both great products. I like the Duke. I, I like what Duke's doing too. I like the fact that they have a lot more switchers. I like the fact that they have some better styling cues. I think Duke Audio's new products are getting really close to being like almost perfect at their price point. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio. Man, every Sunday night we have Patreon only Zooms, Patreon only Discord, Patreon only Facebook. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. Usually there's a 30 day trial period. Even if you quit, I get a couple of dollars. You can also use the links in the description. I think they're, I think this is going to be an affiliate link too, which means if you click and you buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. I'll link both of these in the description. You can also use the thanks button down at the bottom of the video next to the share button. Buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. If you got $130, get one of these awesome integrated amplifiers from Duke Audio and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. <music>